Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're back out on the Ducati Multistrada V4S and we're gonna go do a local route called the Rutland TT. So sit back, relax and come along for the ride. Right guys, so what a beautiful day. We've got a lovely sunny Sunday. Uh, it's a little bit fresh. I think it's gonna get up to about 12 degrees today. Um, which uh, the weather has been absolutely horrendous uh, in the UK. It's been impossible to get out on the bike. So nice to see some bikers out today. I'm sure there'll be loads out because, um, like I say, the weather's been absolutely dreadful. And for some reason, the local authorities are still chucking salt on the roads when, you know, we're having highs of 12 degrees during the day and only like sort of minus one at night. And uh, there's been loads of salt chucked down. So, you know, having to uh, wash your bike after every single ride out um, but yeah today's a today's a bit of a different day so um, I've been checking out some uh, some biker routes some biker loops and uh, there's one came up in uh, a book I recently bought um, which I'd highly recommend if you've not got this book I'll pop a link in the description and um, it's surprisingly what's on your doorstep um, so basically the route I'm doing today is called the Rutland TT um, which sort of uh, it's about a, a 94 mile loop that um, starts well I'll be starting in Melton Mowbray and uh, obviously finishing in Melton Mowbray but it will loop round up towards Grantham down past Rutland Water to Market Harbour and back up to Melton again um, Two, two of the roads on there are two of my favourite roads which I've featured before in uh, one or two of my videos and um, I've not done the other part to it so so yeah I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to this and uh, also I'm just about to hook up with my dad who's bought a new bike he's, uh, he's finally got rid of his Africa twin after uh, I think he bought in 2017 after a lot of persuasion he's decided to upgrade so we're going to go check that out now so i've just turned up at my dad's and check out his new bike So yeah, what a what a beautiful pair of bikes. I mean, you've got the mighty Multistrada there, and we've got the BMW 1250 GS. Um, so the question is to you guys, which one do you pick, the mighty Multistrada or the GS? Both absolutely fantastic bikes. So let's get kitted up and go for that ride. Right, yeah, so the GS sounds absolutely fantastic. As you can see, people are just going panic buying for the fuel again. Fuel shortages everywhere. And um, there was a bit of falling out a minute ago. <laughs> but, um, right, so, yeah, this is the start. And uh, what a beautiful day. Okay, so, yeah, basically, this, this Rutland TT, we're going to be heading down this, uh, this 60, uh, 607 and... Uh, going to take you through into Melton, Buckminster and Grantham which is a lovely bit of road that I uh, featured with my street fighter the other week so if you've not seen that video go check it out but yeah we're doing it on the Multistrada today I've got my dad here on the uh, on his brand new GS triple black uh, 1250 and uh, yeah let's crack on So this is the B676 that links the Melton Mowbray up to Buckminster and then you head on towards Grantham. This bit of road itself has got to be one of my favourite bits. Um, all the roads on this route are brilliant. What I'm going to do is put the link in the description so you can have a look yourself because it takes you off the main roads down some great roads that I've never even seen before.
Oh, well, check this out. <laughs> now that's a job and off. I'm not quite sure if he's got any control over him. I mean, it's bad enough when you take the dog for a walk and it don't behave, but... So, I'm not sure if I got particularly lucky on this Sunday, but the roads were all so quiet. So this stretch of road, the B1176, leads from Grantham down to Stamford, passing through some nice villages. The bit I like about this road is that you can get up to speed, uh, the legal speed, of course. Right guys, so uh, yeah, we've just arrived at uh, Rutland Water and uh, it's turned out a beautiful day. So we've just had a, a pork pie stop and a, and a coffee. And um, if you've not been to Rutland Water before, then it's worth stopping here. This is about the, the halfway point from uh, the, the, the TT route that we're, we're doing. So, so yeah, I'll give you a couple of facts about Rutland Water. And the reservoir is situated east of the town of Oakham and it's filled by the uh, River Neen. And when the reservoir is full, it has enough water here to supply uh, the East Midlands for roughly three years. So the reservoir was built between 1971 and 1975. It's set in 3,100 acres of countryside and has a 23 mile track perimeter running all the way around it. Uh, the villages were flooded here many years ago to create the reservoir. Obviously all the residents was uh, moved on first. And at its deepest point, uh, has a depth of 34 meters so yeah just waiting for my my dad to have his fourth piss of the day um and uh, we've been joined by a, another chap just having a speak to him down there that's uh, got this uh, gs uh, 1250 bmw which is the uh, same as my dad's um yeah beautiful looking uh, looking bikes so after the pork pie stop at rutland water we're on to north luthingham where we pass the army barracks on the b672 towards uppingham Passing under the Welland Viaduct, this thing has an amazing 82 arches. So now on to Uppingham, where we're on the B664 that leads out to Market Harbour. If you want a house here, you're going to have to dig deep. This was voted one of the best places to live in the Midlands last year. So we're on the home straight now, we're the last bit from uh, Market Harbour to Meltrin, one of my favourite roads, the B6047. Apparently on this route you get quite a few motorcycle magazine test riders doing it and I can see why.
to check out the guy in the corner taking photos. He's the Rutland TT photographer. If you like a nice photo of yourself on the bike, then this is the road to be on. Right, so my dad's just informed me that the uh, my GoPro that was attached to my top box on the back has come off back there, so I'm going to have to go back and uh, try and find it. Okay, so the last two mile back into Melton, my GoPro on the back of my top box decided to commit suicide. Uh, managed to go back and find it, but I think uh, I think I'm going to need a new one. So yeah, looks like the GoPro is destroyed, guys. Um, I knew I knew I should have uh, used them little tethers that you get with them. Um, oh well, it happens. Um, looks like I'll be buying a new one this afternoon. Right, guys. So we're back where we started. Um, that is just 94 miles of pure brilliance. If you've not done it, then put it on your list to do. Um, absolutely fantastic route. Uh, shame about the GoPro. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you've not subscribed, then please do so. Give us a like, and I'll see you in the next one.